Welcome back to Chem Reactor. In today's video, we are going to discuss a very important reagent in organic synthesis, propane phosphonic acid anhydride. In short, we call it as a T3P, its applications and uh, byproducts. T3P is an exceptional uh, reagent for amide or uh, peptide coupling reactions with the excellent reaction selectivity, almost uh, no epimerization, high product purities as well as the high yields. Along with these uh, characteristics, uh, T3P is also a non-toxic, uh, non-allergenic as well as the salt products, uh, byproducts form in this reaction are water soluble. So that makes it very easier to uh, do the reaction work of this reaction or the purify the products. This T3P is uh, commercially available as a 50% solution in uh, DMF uh, or ethyl acetate or in the acetonitrile uh, solvents. T3P can also be prepared in the laboratory from uh, propyl phosphonic dichloride as well as uh, from uh, propyl phosphonic acids. To better understand the T3P uh, byproducts, here we will see the T3P reaction mechanism. First, for that, I have taken here the amide coupling reaction uh, in between uh, acid and the, I mean, uh, in the presence of T3P uh, in uh, ethyl acetate and the triethylamine as a base. So here to form this uh, amide bond. In mechanism, a base deprotonates this carboxylic acid to a carboxylate anion. And then this carboxylate anion adds to T3P that forms this reactive ester. Here the amine nucleophile then adds to this uh, reactive ester and then that forms this uh, amide as well as uh, the byproduct tripropyl uh, triphosphophosphonate salt which is water soluble. So here in the reaction uh, workup if we use a uh, bicarbonate uh, salts or like a sodium bicarbonate sodium bicarbonate or uh, the 10 percent of sodium hydroxide solution that can hydrolyze this uh, Tri, uh, triphosphophosphonate salt to again a uh, dipropyl uh, diphosphophosphonate salt or then further to a uh, propyl phosphophosphonate salt. So all these byproducts formed in this reaction are uh, very water soluble. So that makes it very easier in the work of reaction. Well, to make it simple, suppose here is the, your reaction mixture. So after the completion of the reaction, you can just directly add water into the reaction mixture slowly because this reaction is uh, exothermic. So uh, once you quench the reaction mixture here with the water, then uh, you can uh, get it two uh, layers like the organic layer if you are using like uh, ethyl acid or something uh, which has a density lower than the less than the water. So suppose you are using ethyl acid here, so your compound goes to into, into the organic phase. It's the organic compound, and then the eco in the aqueous phase, uh, your phosphonic acid derivative. So that makes uh, that makes it a uh, very easier uh, or simple to uh, do the layer separations. So that's how uh, you can uh, wash out all these salts uh, in the aqueous layer. So that makes it uh, very easier for the further uh, purification of your uh, final uh, amide product. In the applications of T3P, as I said, T3P is a very important reagent in organic synthesis. This acts as a carboxylic acid activator. So here, by using this T3P, we can uh, make amide bonds, as we have seen the on the last slide. And then we can also do esterification reactions, as well as the hydroxy amidation reactions. This is basically almost the same like amide bond formation. We can also synthesize the heterocycles uh, by doing the cyclization. Basically, T3P is a dehydrating agent in if you see all the scheme here. So we can also uh, prepare alkenes from this uh, alcohols by using this T3P. And also, uh, we can convert this uh, amide bonds to uh, nitriles. And yes, also we can do the alcohol oxidations like uh, benzylic alcohols to uh, benzaldehyde type of uh, conversions. In overall, uh, T3P is a dehydrating agent. If you see in all these reactions, it removes the water so that if we compare T3P with other uh, well-known coupling reagents, then uh, my first choice goes to a T3P and then the second one is with the H2. So here, because a T3P has a low toxicity and then a low epimerization uh, risk as compared to the other reagents. And then uh, secondly, uh, the T3P has a really a minimal byproducts or benign as we have seen that T3P byproducts can easily be washed out in the water workup. And then it has a really good efficiency. So uh, if we compare the byproducts with this uh, hard to, as I said, my best choice here, uh, the T3P is the best because the pluro-phosphate salts forming this H2 can sometimes create issues in the purification because that if it forms uh, some salt, so that makes it very difficult to uh, purification. 
and if you compare the cost wise uh, so the cost is a little bit like a moderate as compared to the other coupling reagents in conditions t3p requires a milder reaction conditions for the coupling and as, as well as its uh, moisture sensitivity so here overall i like the t3p as compared to the other uh, coupling reagents so i hope uh, you enjoyed the video and uh, please don't forget to like the video and uh, subscribe the channel thank you